Hello Mew Gamers and today I'm going to be doing Super Badget. This is the first um, toy review thing that I'm going to do that I've either found out like an old, like I don't know, Easy Bake Oven or something like that, uh, a car boot sale or like a Target if you're American and other things like that when I've just like found old things which I used to play with and stuff. It's going to be the first one but in in this case this was my sister's in the early 2000s possibly 90s but I doubt it and this is super badges three new styles exclamation marks and explosive any everywhere so this is just the side of the box I don't know if you can read any of that but pause it if you want to numb it's the same size and I've actually got one of the expansion packs extras but they haven't got it's already done because I've got it here. It's already empty as I used it when I was little because there was nothing left. As I said this was originally my sister's. And back to the front so let's get it open. Okay there's the actual unit itself. So this is quite a weird thing I'll just do a period of it with a weird thing in my bob. So that's the actual unit and I'll show you things that I've already made in a minute. That's one of the things. I'm just going to place the moving box over. It's one of the weird cup things which we'll hopefully find out what it is in a moment. Just put that there. Because it fits. It's one of the utensils. So some of the templates, they didn't originally come like this, um, they were normally in a massive sheet, but as I use so many I just can't know and put them in there. This box of clips and stuff, I'll show you them later. Third one, plastic covers, and clips and two more things, um, utensil, um, utensils. I have no clue what they're called. There we go. That thing. Go there. Two of them. I'm just going to move the box down onto the floor as it's not really into any inconvenience. So, so you've got these, as you've seen. These are the things that, like the little shapes of what you can make. With this unit, before going into anything, you can make things like. No, a handful. These are ones that I've printed off. It's like little squares I've printed off and then draw a circle around. Back to the Future one I've made. A little Flareon. DeLorean. If you can see that, I don't think you can really see that. Now this is for my friend, Georgia, as she was ple as she was begging me for mercy. Good song. And that she wanted a thingy with medley thingy my bob. I don't like them in real life, don't tell her that. And then I've got a mini cipher one. So here's all the sizes. So that's the small one, that's the rectangular one. Then that's the big one. So that's what you'll probably get, what the finished product should look like. So they're the ones that I've printed off. And the things like the sheets of like you see um like over here, so like that you can easily just cut them out because it's like little poppy stuff. And I think you should be able to get these on eBay if you haven't got this, if you bought the unit and you haven't got any of this stuff, so I think you could. So these are the things that it came with, like this little sheet of things, so that's one of them. Another one. But for some reason I quite like this orange one. 100% orange! Global. So, moving this all to the side, this and that. going to move to the side and show you the other things. Move that. So here's the instructions, sorry I've only things so it's in Dutch and English. Hopefully we're gonna be hopefully we're gonna be using the English side, but if anyone reads Dutch There's the side of Dutch. Now that just sounds weird. The side of Dutch As I said before these are little clips. So you should have like things like this but probably not as many things and I'll just get one of these out. So this is the biggest sheet, which is still contact. Contact? What? So I've ba so basically you'll probably get it something like this, but so that's what it would look like if it was still like all together and messiness of weirdness. So I'm just gonna throw this to the side. As it will take me 
quite a bit to do. There's all the different shapes and sizes of the things and the clips. And I'm going to be showing you how to do. So the first setup, as it says on the instructions, Dutch again, the Dutch, says down here. So this is like something that I can do for like pe if people don't um, have the unit. So this is how to install parts one and two. And because I have more of the clips for the rectangular one, I'm going to be using this. So step one, make sure this little clip here, that clip is right up, okay? And on here, make sure it says number one. Then you get this, and then these have little numbers on. So that's number one, then that's number two. They say to slip this in, so literally just get this and go pop. So you see that little clip there, you just push it in and it should fix like that. So it just fix like that, yeah? Then to install this bit, the magnet bit, just pop there, it'll, you, they'll show you later. Pop that in, slide that on, then you see this. Now you want to make that go that way. Down right to the bottom to number one, if you can see those in marks, and twizzle this knob. Now, I don't know if they ever did them um, in different colours. Now, what do you turn it? Now, you should, once you start turning it so this is clockwise, you should see that it um, goes right down to number one. Now, this one you don't have to wait for the clicks, it will get harder as it goes down, so just turn it up. And hopefully it should bring it up. There we go. Let's bring it and then you see. Hopefully you'll see that that is now suspended. I don't know if you can see it this way. That is now suspended. Oh god. Or not. So that, if that happens you just redo it like it's so, so. So you just pop it down. Pop it back up and you can see that little, little thing moving. Push it back up and it goes like that. So that's going to be one of the things that you use for it, okay? So, and another thing is that with the tinsels, oh, that's the badge thing that I'm going to be putting on, so that you can use these for it. So you literally just get a sheet of paper, grab any of your stencils if you've got them, but I'm sure you could probably get the measurements off like on the internet and stuff. Pop them there and then that's going to be the edge. That's going to be what's going to be showing and that's going to be the edge. So, so my advice is that you um, cover the whole thing or something like I've done here. And this is just my interpretation of my skin in like animation form. So just moving these to the side again. So this is step one on put these in. So now, moving down, it says put one of these metal clips. So get your bag or whatever of your metal clips. Now in my case I'm using the rectangular ones, but you can use any of them you want, so it doesn't really matter. So just grab one of these, if you get one. Yeah. Oh my god, I hate when bags don't operate. Let's so just get one. Take this off so there'll be two halves, one of them, one of this. So you get this one, and push it that way, not that way. Put it that way onto here so it fits like it's like that. It will look like that, yeah. I'll put it sideways for this moment. Now you want to get your bag of of the little see-through things. Now I don't think the camera's gonna pick these up, just in case. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, so you just get your bag of see-through things, or if not, just get your see-throughs. You pick one. Now, because this is so old, the see-through things, you get one, sorry. I don't know if you can see that, it's invisible to the camera, but you can see the light, yeah? Let's just get that. Get this, put that onto the circle bit there, so that's on top of it. Then make sure this hasn't got like any um, dust on it, because it won't. Then place this on top of that. Make sure it's like flat because the more flat it is with no like airs, so you just want to keep that there. Move this to the side, put it back. It's not that yet. So now you want to push this in to your massive click. And now 
it shows you moving so clockwise down to that number one again so down to there so just clockwise now I wait till the massive click if that makes sense you'll probably hear it in a second did you hear that grinding so this should be compressing I think oh, there we go so that was a massive click so now you just put it up and don't worry about breaking this because as a kid I thought I broke this but I haven't and it's been sitting under the stairs for quite a bit so just push it until you hear the click again so that's just saying the same thing and it says please note it's very important to make this process perfectly correctly if you do not tighten the dial enough the badge will not make it completely so I'd say for little kids that are struggling get your parents or guardians to help you so now it's just saying move that back up so now what I'm going to have to do is turn this around so turn the whole unit around to number two and I don't know if you can see that to number two and get your other little clip thing in my bob put it onto there let's put it onto that bit <coughs> sorry about the coughs and whatever so now you put that in and I've no clue how this is going to turn out now do this anti-clockwise that didn't sound good clockwise and now you want to be aiming to number two now. So when that goes to number two, and plus it will get harder as it goes. So if you can see, it's not fully going down. So wait until there we go. So that click was that was the click. Yeah, number two. So now just tight re tighten it, and should be done. Pull it open. Numb. And there's my clip of my Minecraft girl. <laughs> I knew it wouldn't see that bit, but meh. So there we go. So now you just get your clips. And get with one of them. Get one of your little clips. And pop it onto here. May need a little kid. And there we go. So shiny projection. But I think it's like I think you could probably do this without that so um shiny bit. But I think it would be more easy to rip and stuff, so that's my final result. So that's what a drawing would look like. So this is the thing. So let's just push that back and then you're ready to start again. And if you want to change this, push that in, it's number one. And you see this button here? I don't it's blue I um Purple on my one, but I do remember seeing a pink one. Ages ago, I don't know, because they did a remake, so you just push that. And that drops that, because it uses magnetism. Pulls that out. Ready to get that out. And now if you want to remove this to make another one like the circle unit, you literally just pull up. So you see this? So you literally just pull it up, and then yoink. There we go. So that's out. And if and in this video of this weird tutorial, if you wanted to like use this, I'll just use it the same. It's but it's the same, apart from just different shapes and stuff. So, so this is just something that you can get creatively and stuff. So, that's the super pack, and this is the expansion pack. <coughs> On this, um, originally, you'd have got um twenty five extra badges. Of uh, includes creating and stuff, so you get that whole sheet, and everything shown here. You get more of them, so suitable for use with the budget. Not super budget, oh super budget. Only recharge. So this, it's been budget. It says I'll use this actually. So this is the budget refill pack or expansion pack, but there is two of them the green one um so this has been new gaming and i've been showing you how to make little badges out of the badge machine so we'll just get two other ones so there's the back to the future one and that so that's how you do and literally for the printed one you get whatever you wanted to do so say i wanted to get that face of that girl you literally put that over hold it Get a pen, draw around these outer bits, cut it out, and then just put it on as usual. But I wouldn't suggest using cardboard, as I think it will just.
jam it up as it's too hard for it to compose and stuff. So this has been Mew Gaming and please like, subscribe or anything and goodbye.